Hello, Shabby Geekers. Welcome to 2023. 2023, Sooks. 2023, Loose. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? <laughs> it means more Moto Origins at Shabby's. Oh, and we've got a plethora of Moto Origins to open. So this is part one of two parts. How many Moto Origins are we about? About four. About four of them we're going to open. So with no, what is it? Further ado. <laughs> I was about to say no delay. No delay. Very nice, Luz. What's the first uh, Moto Origins we're going to open, Lucy? Right. The first figure is the figure I've been looking forward to for uh, the past few months now. It is the mother... The Mantenna. Mantenna! Yep, good old Super Awesome Geek Show sent this in for us for Christmas. How nice is that? Yeah, I really like this figure. I can't wait to open this. Well, let's not wait anymore, Lucy. Let's get this bad boy open and see what it looks like. Right. La, 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 la. Oh, this is a tough one. Mm -hmm. Why are we looking forward to this one so much? Because to me, Mantena was like one of the like most unique, one of the most unique figures of Moto, in my opinion. Oh, was he? Yeah. Part of the evil horde, Luce. Mm -hmm. Right, so what's the comic, Luce? I think we've already had this one. I don't know. It is the Horrors of Pighead. Horrors of Pinkhead. What is it? Horrors of Pighead. The Horrors of Pighead. Did, yeah. did, 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 did we got Pighead loose? Yeah, we do. Right. So we've oh opened it up. Oh my gosh. What do you think? I'm really happy that because the vintage one, all of the four legs were like fused into like two parts. We have the vintage one. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll compare him on one of Suki's close-ups. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. But he's cool though, isn't he? Absolutely love that. Comes with a crossbow, as many of the evil horde do. And what's this, like you said? The, the horrors, horrors of Pighead. Pig da, da, da. Obviously the instructions are how to do it, but we've been through that how many yeah. times, Luce? Oh, right. Yeah, he's awesome, isn't he? Absolutely love this. Right, well, let's have a look at him and show you Shabby Geekers on a Suki close-up. Right, Lucy, man tenor. Look at that bad boy. Absolutely love this. Again, this was a figure I was really looking forward to ever since I heard it was going to be released. Right, why is that? Because... Again, it's one of the most unique um, Moto figures, in my opinion. The fact nice. that it's four legs and yeah. the fact that the gimmick's kind of freaky. And this actually does stick with the gimmick, so he does have a gimmick loose. Yes, if you look on the back right here, there's a little lever on right. his head. And then it's kind of like on a, like a spring, so it just like immediately goes back. So there we go. Cool, just like the original one. Yeah, look, it just like goes back in on its own. I like the colours of him, the red, and he's darker navy than the original. Yes, so. and if you look like on the eyes, they added like a bit more detail to it, like a little like veins and stuff like that. Cool, and there's the original loose. And as you can see, he is a lot lighter, isn't he? Yes, and, oh, whoops. Um, the gimmick is different too, because if you look on the vintage one, right. you see that's on the back, while the Moto Origins is on the head. Oh, I see. So it's the back that makes him do that. Yeah, and also the eyes, when they pop out, the vintage ones are longer and more like bluish and don't have any much detail on it. Hey, good stuff, Luz. Good stuff. Which one do you prefer? I honestly prefer Moto Origins. Yeah. I love it. I like the four legs, because as you can see, he you you, you does come with... Well, I'll put it in the You're like... like yeah, so he has actually got four legs, but they're just closed together, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And then the comic we got for him was... The, the Horrors, Horrors of, of Pighead. Pig and like I say, it's an American version comic. So it has... All the words. All the words. But there you go. Mantena. Nice. I really like this figure. So, Mantena, what do you think? Absolutely love this figure. Again, I really like how they separate the legs. Yeah. So it's just all four possible legs. Have you ever seen a He-Man figure with four legs? Ever seen a He-Man figure with four legs? <laughs> He's awesome. I like we showed in the close-up. You know, the original one came with four legs, but there were, you know... They were, like, closed in. They closed were, like, in. in, like, one piece. Yeah. Exactly. So, traveling with four legs now is cool. But anyway, Mantena is still undusted. Who's next, Luso? Next, we have what does it say? Numerical Genius Digitino. Numerical Genius Digitino. He 
He's pretty cool, isn't he, Luce? Mm -hmm. Right. Should we get him open? Mm-hmm. Definitely. Oh, no. Just ripped the comic. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh. It's all stuck. Look at the comic. Oh, well, I think we've got this one anyway, haven't we? Um, no. Yeah, we've um, got a mind over matter. Oh, wait, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, useless. I mean, comics stuck to the back of the car back. <laughs> First time that's ever happened. First time that's ever happened. There he is, Luce. Everybody knows he's glow in the dark. He is glow in the dark, isn't he? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I oh. really like this figure. He's like, he's, he looks a bit like Elvis, doesn't he? <laughs> Elvis and Moto. He's awesome. Anyway, let's have a look at him on a close up. So look what happened! Look! It was stuck to the back of that. And so <laughs> I think the whole comic ripped. Well not the whole comic, just the cover of it. But we've had this comic before, haven't we, Luce? Yeah. Mind over matter. So if you look back at our previous video, you'll see that this comic we've already done before. Mm -hmm. Still cool though, Luce. But anyway, let's get on to the figure. Da 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 da! Digitino, look at that bad boy. His weapon reminds me of Corful because he's got like a pinch at the end. Yeah, so. I mean, I've got no affiliation with, with um, Digitino at all. Um, until Moto Origins, I didn't even know this was a figure. I know mm -hmm. it was part of the Sunman line, you know, after doing the research. So he was part of the Sunman line in the 80s. But so I've been back. And again, I've said it before in videos. I like the fact that they're incorporating Sunman figures into Moto also Origins. Also She-Ra. And She-Ra, yeah. yeah. But these Sunman figures are something else, aren't they? Mm-hmm. What do you think of him? Love it. I heard, I read on the back that if you shine this in front of bright light and you go to a dark place, yeah. this all glows up. Oh, glow nice. So it's a glow in the dark one. Yeah. It's like absorbed light and it just like shows it all out in the dark. Perfect. Well, yeah, I kind of like his look. Looks like he's from a 1950s Shawada Waddy band, doesn't he? Look. Mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> Red and yellow boots. Blue Wundies. I really do like the colours of these figures. I do. Especially since they're a remaster of um, vintage figures. They got like m pretty much more vibrant colours, don't they? So. Well, there's another one to add to the collection, Luce. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, Digitino, pretty cool, eh, Luce? I really like him, yes. So, on today's offering, part one of Motu Origins. How many Motu Origins videos have we made? Oh, we made tons. None. We showed Mantena and we showed Digitino. Mm. Great additions to our Motu collection, Luso. Absolutely love it. Because, as you can see as well, we've had to expand our Motu collection. I'll show you a picture. Yeah, we're getting so many of them, aren't we? I mean, we've been collecting this since day one, haven't we, Luke? Yes, so yes. We absolutely love doing Ever it. Ever since we discovered these, we're like, we have to get these. Stuff. We have to get these and we'll carry on. We're going to, well, we're going to try and get every one of them, aren't we, Luke? We love Nothing's it. Nothing's going to stop us. Not even the laws of physics. No, not even the laws of physics. So let's see what happens in 2023 and what Motu Origins come out this year. But anyway, please like, please subscribe. We have a patron. If you'd like to join that, Elsa channel grow so me and Lucy can make Motu Origins videos like this. But apart from all that, it's great to see you. So part one's done. We'll see you in part two. Anything to say? I have the power. I have the power. We'll see you soon.